In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic Newton's forward and backward difference formula. The Newton's forward difference formula is constructed by making use of the forward difference notation delta. That is the forward difference operator. That is, you know, delta of Pn is nothing but Pn plus 1 minus Pn. This is the forward difference operator. So the Newton's forward difference formula is constructed by using this forward difference operator. We know the first divided difference involving x0 and x1 that is f of x0 x1 is nothing but f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0. This is actually we can see that if the points are equally spaced that is x0 plus h is equal to x1, x1 plus h is equal to x2 etc. If these points are equally spaced then we have x1 minus x0 is equal to h so this is 1 by h into f of x1 minus f of x0 so by using the delta notation we can see that f of x1 minus f of x0 is nothing but delta f of x0 so we have delta f of x0 is equal to f of x1 minus f of x0 delta f of x1 is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 etc. So this first divided difference involving x0 and x1 can be written in this notation or by using this uh, forward difference operator delta we have this is equal to 1 by h into delta f of x0. Now the second divided difference involving x0, x1 and x2 that is f of x0, x1, x2 is nothing but f of x1, x2 minus f of x0, x1 divided by x2 minus x0. So we know this. So by using this we have from the previous one we have f of x1, x2 is nothing but 1 by h into delta of f of x1 and f of x0, x1 is equal to n by h into delta of f of x0. So divided by x2 minus x0 is this is 2h. So this is equal to 1 by 2h into delta f of x1 minus f of delta f of x0 divided by h that is 1 by 2h square into delta square f of x0. We have delta square f of x0 is nothing but delta of delta f of x0 right that is delta of f of x1 minus delta of f of x0 and in general we have the kth divided difference involving x0, x1, etc, xk is equal to 1 by k factorial. Here we have 1 by 2 factorial. So 1 by k factorial into h power k into delta power k f of x0. So by using this, we can express our uh, Newton's forward difference formula uh, by using this delta notation. So since f of x0 is equal to f of x0, this is we have uh, Pn of x is equal to, we have the uh, interpolating polynomial or uh, Newton's formula is Pn of x is equal to Pn of x0 plus SH which is nothing but f of x0 plus summation k from 1 to n SK, SCK into k factorial divided by h power k into f of x0, x1, etc, xk. So, from th this we get, uh, this is equal to, uh, we have here uh, h k factorial into h k h power k into f of x naught x one x two etc x k is nothing but delta k f of x naught. So we can replace this. So this is the Newton forward difference formula. So uh, for, for uh, doing the problems, we can use uh, the previous one also. Also, now in a similar way, we can define the uh, backward difference formula. Now we have the points x naught x one etc x n. If these points or these nodes are reordered from last to first, that is as xn, xn minus 1, etc., x0, then we can write the interpolatory formula, formula as Pn of x is equal to f of xn because we are taking the first one as xn. So f of xn plus f of xn, comma xn minus 1 into x minus xn into a plus f of xn x minus xn minus 1 comma xn minus 2 into x minus xn into x minus x minus 1 xn minus 1 etc plus f of xn xn minus 1 etc x1 x0 into x minus xn x minus x minus xn minus 1 etc x minus x1 so it is actually 
because we reordered this uh, data points or nodes uh, from last to first that is x and x and minus one etc x naught in addition to this assume that the nodes are equally spaced with x is equal to xn plus s into h where h is the distance between each of the uh, two of uh, these nodes okay that is xn minus xn minus 1 is equal to h xn minus 1 minus xn minus 2 equal to h etc and x equal to xi plus s plus n minus i into h then we have from this formula we have pn is equal to pn of x is equal to pn of xn plus sh because x is equal to xn plus sh so pn of xn plus sh is equal to f of xn plus x minus xn is nothing but from this we get s into h so x minus xn is s into h into f of xn comma xn minus 1 plus uh, x minus xn into xn x minus xn minus 1 that is we have s into s plus 1 into h square because we have x minus xn x minus xn is equal to s into h that is uh, this is s into h and x minus xn minus 1 that is uh, from here if i equal to n minus 1 we have x minus xn minus 1 is equal to s plus n minus n plus 1 if you are replacing i as n minus 1 we get this minus n plus i 1 into h that is s plus 1 into h so this is s plus 1 into h so this is equal to s into s plus 1 into h square f of xn xn minus 1 comma xn minus 2 plus etc and the last one will be last term will be this s into s plus 1 into that is uh, we have uh, x minus xn is equal to s into h s plus 1 is equal to s plus 1 i mean uh, x minus xn minus 1 is equal to s plus 1 into h etc so we have s into s plus 1 etc s plus n minus 1 into h power n f of xn x, xn minus 1 etc x naught so to derive uh, the newton's backward difference formula we can use this so for that we need to define the backward difference operator that is given the sequence pn for n varies from 0 to infinity define the backward difference uh, del pn or it is read as nebula pn it is read as nebula or del and it is defined by del pn is defined by del pn is equal to pn minus pn minus 1 it is called the backward difference operator we know the forward difference operator is uh, uh, operator is defined by del delta pn is equal to pn plus 1 minus pn but the uh, backward difference operator is del pn is equal to pn minus pn minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 and the higher powers are defined recursively uh, that is delta power del power k pn is equal to del of del power k minus 1 pn for k greater than or equal to 2 for example del square of pn is equal to del of del of pn etc so this definition implies that we have f of xn comma xn minus 1 is equal to 1 by h into del of f of xn because we have f of xn comma xn minus 1 is nothing but f of xn minus f of xn minus 1 divided by xn minus xn minus 1 so f of xn minus xn minus f of xn minus 1 is delta of f of xn and xn minus xn minus 1 is h so uh, f of this uh, f of xn comma xn minus 1 is equal to 1 by h into del of f of xn and also we have f of xn xn minus 1 comma xn minus 2 is nothing but f of xn xn minus 1 minus f of xn minus 1 xn minus 2 divided by xn minus xn minus 2 so this is equal to from this previous one we have f of xn comma xn minus 1 is nothing but delta f of xn divided by h and this is uh, delta f of xn minus 1 divided by h so divided by xn minus xn minus 2 is nothing but 2h so this is equal to delta f of xn minus de sorry del of f of xn minus del of f of xn minus 1 divided by 2h square so this is equal to 1 by 2h square into del square f, x, f of xn and so on in general we get f of xn xn minus 1 etc xn minus k is equal to 1 by k factorial h power k into del power k f of xn so by using these uh, del notation or uh, backward difference operators we can express 
the given uh, the Newton's backward difference formula as uh, this f, uh, f of x n plus s into del of f of x n plus s into s plus 1 divided by 2 into del square f of x n plus etc. This uh, which is obtained uh, from uh, by using this from this equation. Okay. So we have the, the Newton's backward formula is this. Now, if we extend the binomial coefficient notation to include all real values of s by letting minus s c k is equal to minus s into minus s minus 1 etc minus s minus k mark plus 1 divided by k factorial. So, from this we get minus 1 power k into s into s plus 1 into etc s plus k minus 1 divided by k factorial. So, we can write this equation or this uh, formula as p n of x is equal to f of x n plus s into or minus 1 power 1 into s can be written as minus s c1 that is minus s c1 is nothing but minus s so minus s into minus 1 power 1 is minus 1 so minus 1 into minus s that is s into del of f of x n plus minus 1 whole square into minus s uh, c2 that is minus s c2 is minus s into minus s minus 1 divided by 2 factorial so this into minus 1 power 1, 2 that is this is s into s plus 1 divided by 2 that is into del, del square f of x n plus etc minus 1 power n minus s c n into del power n f of x n so this will be the uh, newton's backward difference formula so in sigma notation we can write this formula as this so for problems we can use uh, the Newton's backward difference formula as this that is to uh, do problems we can uh, it is easy to use this formula that is Newton's forward difference formula as this and if Newton's, Newton's backward difference formula we can use this so actually here we have for Newton's forward difference formula we are using the points as x0 x1 etc xn and for backward difference formula, we are using the points as xn, xn minus 1, etc. xn, x0, right. So, uh, we know here we have a, in Newton's forward difference formula, here we have f of x0, x1, f of x0, x1, x2, etc. f of x0, x1, x2, etc. xn. That is, if, 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 we, are, if we are having uh, the divide difference table, we have this is f of x0, x1. This is f of x0, this is f of x0, x1, this is f of x0, x1, x2, this is f of x0, x1, x2, x3, and this is f of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, etc. So, to use the Newton's forward difference formula, uh, we are using these values, that is, uh, these values in the divided difference table, as we discussed in the previous uh, lecture, and also. For, the, for using the Newton's backward difference formula, here we have f of xn. We know f of xn is this. If, if, you are, if we have uh, 5, uh, x5 is the last one, then this will be f of x5 or f of xn. And uh, then we have, we need uh, f of xn, xn minus 1. So it will be this f of x4, x5 or f of xn, uh, x5, x4, right. So this will be the second one. Uh, that means the first divide difference with uh, you, or, uh, you in involving x n and x n minus one. Here we have uh, the last one is x x n is equal to x five. So x five and x four. Then we need here uh, f of x n x n minus one x n minus two. That will be this f of x five x four and x three f of x three x four x five, etc. So, for using the Newton's backward difference formula, uh, we are using these points, these points in the divide difference table, right? That is this uh, entries uh, we are using for Newton's, uh, for using uh, Newton's backward difference formula and for using Newton's forward difference formula, we are using these entries, etc. Now an important thing is that here we have uh, x0, x1, etc, xn here. So x1 not is here and xn will be here. If you are required to interpolate the function f at a point near this x0, we can use the forward difference formula. That is uh, if, we, if we need to find a point, uh, uh, an approximate value of some uh, xk where xk uh, is lies in this region that is it is near 
uh, x naught then we can use the uh, newton's uh, forward difference formula and if we are we have to uh, approximate uh, the value of f of uh, k where x k is uh, is nearly at the end of this table that means the it is near uh, it is uh, near the uh, xn the point xn then we can use the newton's backward difference formula now we can discuss an example in the next lecture